All right, well, after a long absence, quite a few back problems, which kept me out of camping for the first half of the season, we're finally out here. And I convinced the most beautiful girl in the world to come with me, although I probably won't be putting her on camera any more than I'll put myself. But I was assuming it was going to be one of these uh, typical Florida January days, the 70 in the daytime and 50 at night, but I guess we were dealing with 50 and 30, about 30 tonight. And right now we're getting wind that's up to about 30 miles an hour. Although the trees are blocking a lot of it. But anyway, we're gonna get a fire started here. Eventually get the tent set up and just chill. Try to have us a relaxing afternoon. Nice overnight trip. So my friend built this and used it for a long time uh, on deer hunting trips and whatever in a hot tent that he had. And I guess he decided to part with it, so he gave it to me. Thought I'd bring it out here and play with it. I don't even own a tent that I could use as a hot tent. I guess my gazelle, I could put a hole in the roof and take the floor out. But as is, it's a neat toy. I thought I'd bring it out and play with it. Maybe a cool spot to, uh, boil water or cook something anyway i like it i'm trying to get the fire going in there right now it's already starting to heat up one little toy i've bought for myself is a uh little alcohol stove it's not a transia it's some knockoff uh i think red camp mm -hmm. but we use it to heat up some water and get the hot cocoa flow in there and see how it does i've never messed with one of these before but now's the time i guess Definitely breaking out the marshmallows and hot chocolate early here. Why not, right? No, I definitely didn't go into the woods and cut this wood myself. There's a good old boy that lives near where my kids go to school that sells it to me. Great price. Got a truck bed load for practically nothing compared to what you'd go to the grocery store and buy it for. Plus, somebody was nice enough to leave us a bundle here when we showed up with some water as well. That's pretty cool. After the fall I've had and issues with my back, the, the last thing I want to do is get out here and split a bunch of wood. So, a friend of mine put a post on TikTok a while back about uh, having Instacart bring him some wood to his campsite. And then he was excoriated. He also, I think he made quite a bit of money off that video. So I think it was totally worth it to him. But. Yeah, let the comments begin. Definitely truck this wood in. But it's nice, it's oak, it's hot. We've got some steaks later and they're gonna cook up wonderfully over it. Well, I'm just lazily sitting around the fire here. She's reading her book, enjoying some hot cocoa. All's right with the world, right? Moved the stove over here because it's kind of in the way. Decided where we put it was about the best spot for us to sit and hang out. So it's smoking away. I haven't built it up real hot, and I'm just kind of letting what's in it catch. And, get a good bed of coals. It'll be something warm to stand by later or do something with, I guess. 
like I said, more or less trying it out, trying to learn how it works and what its little quirks are. Use the little alcohol stove to uh, make the cocoa with. And the thing worked great. No complaints at all. I think it was $12 on Amazon. Perfect deal. So we're trying something. We're trying to uh, grill whole carrots here without putting them in foil, without anything. Just scrape them off and chuck them over the fire. So we'll see how this comes out. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move them pretty quick. In the meantime, we move the other stove over there. I got some water on there heating up. Use it for the potatoes. And we'll add asparagus and steak here in just a few minutes. But these carrots are going to take a while to cook, so if I don't burn them up. So, anyway, I'll get back as we go. Well, I just didn't have much faith in the grilled carrot idea, so a little salt, a little butter. They're sure to be good now. Well, I guess it's tragic, but I discovered that the asparagus is at home, so it's going to be uh, steak, carrots, and uh, instant mashed potatoes tonight. I guess we could do worse. We've got a nice T-bone, almost the size of a porterhouse for my uh, for my wife. She probably won't be able to eat half of it. And then they've got a ribeye on here for me. Hopefully they turn out good. Well, I'd love to show you a finely set table, but we're too busy having fun and talking and hanging out and just eating our food, but yeah. I guess that's why I'll never be a big YouTuber is I didn't sit here and let my food get cold, get cold trying to present it to you guys. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, supper was awesome. Now we're just out here staying warm, hanging out by the fire. I'm enjoying a nice cigar and... Uh, my favorite soft drink. The pretty girl over there is still reading her book and lantern's going and it's all very peaceful. Nice, just kind of cool. I'll either catch back up with you before we go to bed or in the morning. We got one seriously hot fire burning. The book is down to about 40 pages, I think. Getting late at night. Definitely getting colder. It's clear. There's any way in the world you can see the stars? No, of course not. Well, maybe. Anyway, it's a nice thought. Stars are shining pretty bright, though. Just chilling. Trying not to let over. Having a good night. Calm and peaceful out here. Well, good morning. It's a frosty one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because it wasn't real heavy, but there's frost on pretty much everything this morning. The sun's coming out. Camera lens is probably going to fog up, but I'm trying to get a uh, fire started from last night. Just throw Still had a good bed of coals, so throwing some twigs in here and trying to get some bigger stuff going. Get breakfast going. I don't know if you can hear my truck running in the background, but I think mom was ready to warm up. So let her sit in there for a while and get herself back warm. Outside of that, had a real peaceful sleep. Nice night. Beautiful morning. We'll get some uh Coffee and breakfast going here shortly. You know, this oak is a little wet and it takes a few minutes to start, but once we get going, we'll have a good bed of coals. I've got my uh, water heating here for coffee. I'll probably throw the lid on it and just you know, do the right thing. And uh, you turn around, we got the alcohol stove over here doing the uh, water for hot chocolate, which I think it's about ready. It's a slow start this morning. As you can see with the camera, I think it's moving slow too. Let's try this. 
Yep, no, it's moving slow. Well, my wife's enjoying her hot chocolate. It looks like my water's boiling. I have a uh, black rifle tactic squash that they got me for Christmas. I guess uh, Walmart's starting to carry black rifle, which is cool, but they're putting it in these cheaper bags. I guess you know, Walmart, right? Still need some darn good coffee. Just want to get that going. Handy dandy potholder if you ever need one. Just chopping up some potatoes. I'm gonna fry some potatoes. We're gonna do some bacon and like a few eggs. Try to keep it simple here. All right, well, the potatoes are amazing. Now we're gonna see how we do with the bacon. Can't help but wonder if Jim Bridger or Kit Carson likes mango nectar. Well, we were running pretty late this morning, so we just uh, finished breakfast, packed up, cleaned up, and we're on our way out of here. Sorry for the uneventful ending, or uneventful video anyway, but hey, we had fun. Alright, thanks for watching.